Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 20th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you our space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, look at our world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, still that large in incoming sunspot region. There are three sunspots in there, believe it or not. Huge hole in our sun and as well an X-class solar flare to talk about. Looking at the last 24 hours incoming, there are three sunspot regions with that bright fiery region on the right-hand side. Incoming as well on the left, saw plasmid filament eruption. Looking at outgoing imagery here, on the right-hand side, you're going to see where that X-flare occurred. As well, we saw a couple M-class flares overnight. So our sun is still firing off many events. And right there is that X-class flare. Another quick look at the sunspot region that produced it. And as well, watch along the southern hemisphere for that plasma filament eruption. Another closer look at these large sunspot regions incoming to an earth-facing view. Let's hope they stay calm. Another quick look at the sunspots. One, two, three groupings, and then another one trailing behind there. Look at multi-spectrum. Still very active antipodal, northwest and southeast action. There's the plasma filament eruption. As well, the X-class solar flare right there. Luckily, that was not in an earth-facing position, but we were affected. DRAP absorption map showing a slight radio blackout. One coronal hole ahead of all of these sunspot regions. Quick look at the highest frequency affected. This is the absorption map right over Central America, North America. Solar X-ray flux showing hovering in C range. But yeah, two M-class flares overnight and one X-class producing an R3 possible radio blackout. Geomagnetic activity remains low, relatively. Quick look at the probability for Aurora. About a 10% chance for northern lights tonight across Canada. Smaller percentage as it goes around the planet. Quick look at NOAA showing the space weather that we're currently going through. Real-time solar wind. We're sitting at 396 kilometers per second after being up over 580 kilometers per second, and that's from the last few sun events that we've been seeing. Quick look at ISWA showing the solar flare, X-class solar flare with a small CME. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 15, low power, but it looks exciting. Quality of 9.8, power of 7. So we're in the green there. That's a good thing. Now let's get to earthquakes as we were expecting a large earthquake to follow all those deep ones yesterday and we saw a busy planet. 6.0 here just recently in Manay, Philippines and all around the Banda Sea and north into the Philippines has been very active as of late. Also we had that eruption that I put a quick video about earlier with Karamiski. Deep earthquake here in Lavuka, Fiji, 577 kilometer depth, deepest the last 24 hours. But Fiji and as well Tonga region, 4.9 here, 4.9 Kermadec Islands, and as well Loyalty Islands, 4.9. South of Australia here, 5.8 Bellany Islands region. So Australia plate crunching up into the Antarctic plate as well westward towards uh, south of Madagascar here, 5.1 Southwest Indian Ridge. Pretty quiet across Europe. 4.2 here in Northeast Russia, 
in Tixi, Russia, 4.2 reported. Carrying on here to Alaska, 3.5 here, Atka, Alaska, 67 kilometer depth. Minor activity is coming back to the region as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Looking at North American plate, largest through the region, California, 3.0, Round Valley, California, but seeing a small swarm through the region. Heads up and come check out all of the latest earthquakes on the live stream. 4.0 here in Revilla, Mexico. As well, Hawaii, semi-active today, largest reported here, 3.5, Napopo, Hawaii, Central America, Cocos Plate into the Caribbean as well. 4.8 here, Galapagos Islands, the Triple Junction region. As well, a 4.4, Colombia, 4.2 there, Peru, 4.2 here in Dominican Republic, 83 kilometer depth. But not very numerous earthquakes there. South America saw a pretty sizable earthquake today, 5.7 here, Atacama, Chile, 98 kilometer depth, as well as 4.8 here, Argentina, 107 kilometer depth, 4.1 Chile. And then Scotia, Scotia Plate as well, there's not many earthquakes here at this region. South Sandwich Islands, yes, but the Scotia Sea reporting a 5.5 and a 5.1 possible magma intrusion through the region. So yeah, pretty active planning for the last 24 hours. USGS reporting about 270 earthquakes across the USGS map. Having a look here at Walton 3D. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. All of the red being the most recent. So things are really starting to ramp up. As we have been penetrated by space weather here for the last couple days. CMEs, solar flares from days ago. As well, transition into the spring equinox, a lot of things change. And it's all connected, earthquakes, weather, space weather, and volcanoes. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes across the world, brought to you by Walton 3D. Still watching a pretty quiet North American plate right now. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated. Earlier today, updated you on Karamiski, but we have Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. Sabankaya in Peru, Karimsky in Russia. Krakatoa, Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Popo Paquetito in Mexico, Manam, Papua New Guinea, Semeru, Indonesia, and Dokono, Indonesia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. Stay tuned for the Volcano Activity Report. It will be coming tomorrow, giving you a full update on all of the active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Satellite imagery here, large atmospheric river heading up into Newfoundland, parts of the Atlantic provinces. Pretty big system coming in over northwest, uh, on northwestern United States and parts of western Canada as well. As they saw 25 centimeters of snow through Alberta, possible tropical system developing here along the equator. And then watch for the forecast here coming up. We could have a couple typhoons developing for the Philippines, like they haven't seen enough stuff affecting them. Floods, landslides, now you've got two, possibly two typhoons on your doorstep. Having a look at the rest of the world. Pretty big system heading up in through Afghanistan, Tajikistan right now. Having a look here at your weather forecast, world weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide starting out here in eastern Canada. Big low stretching across and bringing moisture. Lots of rain starting tomorrow and then heading northeastward. 
cold on the backside. So rain for Atlantic provinces and snow for Quebec. And then watch for this Colorado low to come out of the States here. Friday into Saturday. Watch for thunderstorm conditions through central United States and up into northern Ontario, Manitoba. And snow on the backside through parts of Manitoba and Saskatchewan in the long range forecast from this big system. As we still have a lot of cold temperatures way up north. West coast, big system affecting you in the long range. But right now those systems, one of them is heading southwards towards California. And then that'll be the Colorado low that comes through in the few days. Long range forecast here, a lot of rain for parts of British Columbia and Washington down into Oregon. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you in the long range forecast. Buenos Aires, you're going to be seeing the most extreme weather out of this forecast here, and that'll be late. 26th into the 27th, maybe even into the 28th, with that lingering strong low south of you. As well, continual rain coming from the central Atlantic, heading into Venezuela. Africa, You've got a low pressure system affecting you in the long range forecast here for parts of South Africa. Watch this system to head over North Madagascar. Then down into Mozambique. As it rakes up the coastline here in the long range forecast. 23rd into the 25th of April. And then that's going to penetrate land in the long range As well, rain and small waves of moisture heading towards their parts of South Africa. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system here in the Mediterranean, just east of Spain. We'll head through Italy and over into Greece by Saturday. And then a low pressure system comes into Spain yet again. But cool, high pressure ridge. It's going to try to block it. And then that's going to ramp up another low heading into the United Kingdom for next week in the long range forecast, but other than that, pretty dry. Overlooking Southeast Asia, India, Malaysia. No tropical systems really to talk about. Line of moisture here heading over Japan. China dealing with a lot of wildfires right now. Kamchatka dealing with snow. And then looking over here, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, watch for two storms here to develop in the long range forecast. 29th into the 30th, you could have a typhoon on your doorstep for the Philippines. And then watch as another one here is developing behind it. And then quite possibly another tropical low following behind that. So strong system still across our world right now. Not much to report over Australia. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's Daily Do. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your Daily Do. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.